guys, it's manager Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do the volleyball score sheet. This score sheet is specific to the MIAA. It is very similar to the one that's used in the NCAA. However, the NCAA one does have a slightly smaller amount of subs on it, but it's got the same idea if you are doing it for the NCAA as it is for the MIAA. If you're interested in learning more about sports administration, coaching tips, and some drills for you to do with your team, definitely subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I post every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So to start off on the score sheet, you're gonna need three different color pens usually I use black red and blue this time I'm going to use blue green and pink just because that's what I have for pens the first thing you're going to do is fill out the tourney so this is who's playing in the game and for our game it's going to be green versus red um, I'm just going to use colors versus like towns or anything so green versus red and it is at green high school so the green team is the host school. If this was a game that was at a neutral territory, then you would put the location that that neutral territory is at, but this is at Green High School. So I'm gonna add that as our location. And then our division, um, my school is division two, and this is the first set. The next thing you're gonna do is add the date. So I'm gonna put a date that's already happened. So we're gonna put six, 25 20 and then that happened to be a Thursday and the match will say was scheduled for 6 p.m. obviously you would have real times and dates based on when you're doing this this is just when I'm fil filming it so I'm just putting a date you would add time set started and time set finished in the middle they're not gonna check that it most of the times at the regular MIA games but it's a good practice to get into for the future to add the time the set started and the time the set finished the next thing we're going to do is fill out each team. So the way they are set up on the court, which you'll see from the video we're watching, that green is on this side. Um, they might be flipped and obviously we'll flip each set green and then red is on this side. We also learn from the coin toss that red will have serve. And so that means green has receive few other things we're going to put is down here. It has first re referee and second referee. Now I'm just going to make up names. Usually you would have paperwork that would have who these are, but I'm just going to put Joe and Mark. And then you're going to print your name and then you're going to sign your name. So I'm just going to put my first name. Um, you sign that, print your name, sign your name. So that's all set. It's yours. We, add in the MIA, except for tournament games, don't play with line judges, so you don't have to worry about this. So this kind of section right here, you don't have to worry about for right now. The last thing you want to do is circle set one right down here. Now, once the teams have their lineups in, you'll get a lineup sheet that looks kind of like this. It would have the roster filled out, the coach's signature, and which team it is. So I just printed out one of these for example's sake, and this is going to be the red team's lineup and the green team's lineup. I did my best to figure out what numbers you could actually see on the screen, but it was kind of hard to figure out. So I just kind of did my best to figure out that so that we have it. Usually you would have the real official lineup. So I'm going to put in the red team's lineup based on this. So what you can see here is red team has serve, which means their first server is going to be number 11 and it works its way around this way, where green team has received. So their first server is actually in the two spot. So you want to make sure that it is noted when you put it down. So on this sheet that we have here, we're gonna have 11, 2, 15, 3, 12, and seven for the red team, and they do not have a libero. So we have 11. You wanna make sure you put these in the top corner farther away. That way when their subs happen, you don't run out of room. So 11, 2, 15, 3, 12, and seven. And then for the green team's lineup, we have 14. So the person that's in the two spots actually gonna be listed first because they're gonna be our first server. 14, five, um, and this person has a little C next to it, which means they're the floor captain. Red has a floor captain too, but I couldn't figure out which kid it was. So you have a floor captain, then you have 29, 22, 
and 27 and then finally 11 and both teams in this case don't have a libero but I will show you what would happen if a libero was to sub in for someone to serve so that you know how to mark that I will show you that at the end and now that we are all set you can actually get started with the set you want to make sure you have your blue pen out because that's what you're going to be using as this game goes so the game is ready to go um, this game started with the ref talking to the captain, so it happened to take a little bit longer, but the game is ready to go, and we are going to start with the first serve. So red has serve, the whistle has been blown. So the first thing you're going to do the second the whistle is blown is put a circle for that server that you know that's the right kid serving and that the ball has been served. So you put that circle, and now that the play happens out, they're going to play, set, and see which team gets the point. So green team got the point. So the next thing you're going to do is put an R in the little circle because they did not receive the point. It rotated or reversed. So it reversed to the other team. You put a little R in the circle and you put a 1 next to 14 because she's going to be your next server and she technically received the point as the team won the point. And in the middle column right here is your running score. You're going to put a line through that to show that they have won and that it was a point that was received, not a point that they served. And now the game is going to play on. I might skip through the game a little bit, just some parts that are a little bit slower, but I'll still fill this out so you can see what it looks like. So now that we are serving, so the green team is serving, she put the ball up, you're going to put a circle, the play is played out, you'll see some different people hitting the ball, doing different things, and the gre green team was to win the point again, so they get a two in the little circle which means in the middle column right here you are going to circle the number two as they serve the ball and won the point so it's a circled number two so they served again circle you might want to make these circles a little bit bigger depending on how big you write and okay there was an attacking error so there is a reverse so you reverse it to the other side with an r and now they have a number one, red team has a number one, and you put a number one next to number two because she is now going to be the player that is serving. And the play is now played out, and red team won it again. So you're going to put, they served the ball and they won the point, so you got a two in a circle. I sometimes get behind on my circles and don't end up putting them until I write the point, but you want to make sure that they're there. Red team served again, and it ended up reversing because the person served out. And now five is going to be serving, so you have a three slash the three, and this is where you are in your game. Five will now serve the ball, and once the ball is up, you can put your circle, and you'll play out your different points. So five ends up, to fast forward a little bit, five ends up winning a few different points for the green team. So they get to six points. So five is going to serve again. And this serve, we'll see what happens. And the ball is up, so we have our circle. And it ends up going out, so we reverse it to this side and we put a number three because now the red team is at three. So now that the red team is at three, this is what your score sheet looks like. I There is now going to be a sub on the floor, so the down ref will say to you, um, like, sub on your right, sub on the red, and this is what you're going to do. So you're going to put an S for sub, and because the red team is subbing and red team has the serve, it's just going to be a plain S, and then you're going to put like a little fraction, and on the top of the fraction is the person that's coming in, and from watching it, number 10 is coming in, and she's subbing in for number 7, so it's like 10, 4, 7, kind of how you would read fractions. And now in number 7's little box, you're going to cross out the 7, because she's no longer on the court, and you're going to put a 10. And then the third step you're going to do for a sub is cross out the number one. We play with 18 substitutes, so you're able to cross off all the way up to 18 as a max amount of substitutes, so that's their first sub, so you make sure to cross off the number one. So now they are going to go serve the ball. 15 is now serving, and the ball is, the bristle is blown, and the ball is up. 
And now we have the serve and there was an error on the other team so we have a four for the red team so currently our score is four to six green and now the play again she's gonna serve and this serve is going to go out and this means it's going to be reversed again and now 29 on the green team will be serving so we put a seven there now that 29 on the green team has served, you put the circle, the whistle has been blown, and the play is played out. And it looks like there was an attacking error, and so that means it's going to be reversed back to the red team again, and now there's a five here, and there is a number, another sub for red. So. Obviously in the game, the game's not going to pause like I'm doing on the video, but just to teach you, you will have the ability when you're the one doing it to hold the sub for a little bit longer while you're writing it down, and then they'll ask you if you're all set and you're able to say good to go. So this is again a red team sub on red team's serve, so you just put again a single S. This time this sub is number 9 for number 11, so that means number 11 here in the one spot you're going to cross her out. And put a number nine. You're gonna learn that people have a tendency to sub when people are switching from the front row to the back row and vice versa. That's a lot of the times that you'll see this sub. And now we're going to continue play. So she's coming in in the front row and number three is now serving. She will serve the ball up. The whistle has been blown and so the serve happens. We put our circle and the play is played out. And there's an attack, and they are able to, so far, keep it alive. Free ball over the net. And the bump set, another free ball. This one seems to be a pretty good point. Um, back and forth. And the longer points, you can look at your work and check in, but it's so hard because you get so into it. Um, and then you have, so this is a reverse. You have number 8 now, and 22 is going to be serving for the green team. I'm only going to show you about half the game, and so there's a reverse again. So now it's 6, just so you can get all the things you need to know. Once that part ha once I get to about halfway through the game, everything that you need to know happens at least once. Um, and you can feel free to watch this video again. So there's our serve. And we'll see what happens to see if there's anything that you missed or need to refresh yourself on. So red team was actually able to save the play and green ended up hitting it out. So they actually received the point. And so this is what the score looks like so far. It's seven to eight. So it's definitely getting closer. And we have a serve from the red team again. So they'll get another circle as the ball is up and the serve goes out so we're going to reverse back to green so now we have nine points for green next to number 27 and number 27 is going back to serve the ball and the ball is up so we put our circle again and now that we put our circle you that was actually a reverse because it was a bad serve we have eight and now eight on the bottom number 10 is now serving because she's still on the court so she's going to serve the ball you put her circle and they ended up receiving the point because of a double so number nine goes to them so now the score is nine to nine so it's actually a very close game and now she's going to serve again the whistle has been blown and this time it, the play is played out and there's a dump from the setter and a hit from the middle and oh, this is a much longer play we'll see what happens and there was a kill from the green team so you have a reverse to the other side so I'm gonna actually pause it right here so we're gonna put a number 10 because now the green team has won the point back the key here is there's going to be another sub however this sub is not the green team subbing it's the red team subbing but the green team has the ball so just like the other sub you're going to put an s but instead of just having a straight s it's going to say sx so that means sub 
but it's the other team receiving. So it's the receiving team, not the serving team. So it's a sub for the receiving team. And then this time the sub is number seven for number 10. So this is the sub just like on the bottom because now that she's served, she's gonna come off the court. So on the red team side, now you're gonna cross off the 10 and put a seven and you wanna make sure you keep up with the substitutions on the bottom. That's the part I end up going back and checking constantly through the game to make sure that you keep up with that especially as there's more and more subs one year we ended up subbing like our whole lineup constantly so you had to make sure that you were on top of the subs so now they've had three total subs they've had seven and ten have each switched twice and one sub up there the other key to this is you want to make sure if ten, seven wants to sub back in that she's only subbing in for ten because she can only play in that rotational position she can't play you could have five people play in the same rotational position and rotate them each point but you want to make sure that 10 and 7 only ever stay in this rotational position for the set. They can't then sub in for 15 or 2. That's just not allowed. You have to sub in in your rotational position. So that's what this allows you to do. So now that 7 and 10 have subbed, we're going to continue playing the game and go on from there. So the serve is, will be blown. Sub has happened. Table is all set. And the serve is being blown in. And the serve is now up and it goes over and the green team was not ready for it to come back so it reverses and now a key right here we are reversing back to the beginning which means you don't want to put a blue pen next to a blue pen so now i'm going to take my pink pen or your red pens so i usually do black red and then blue but this time i'm doing blue red and then green so you're going to cross off the 10 in the new color and then in the new color right here you want to write 10 there is now also going to be a sub happening for the red team. Again, this is a sub happening on their side of the court. They have serve, so it's just straight S, and then it's number 11 for number 9. So right here, we're going to cross off 9 and put 11, and then the sub will be in another color. So you can kind of tell when the subs happened on here based on the different colors they're in. And I'll show you this bottom corner down here. It gives you a mini version of instructions just so you have the basics of what's going to happen. And now we're going to let the play happen. I'm only going to go for a little bit longer of the game so you can just see the last few steps. And then I'm going to give you some pointers on a few other steps that don't actually happen in the set but may possibly happen in other sets. So ball is up and the play is playing out and somebody was in the net so now it is the green the green team was in the net so it's red team's point so we have an 11 for red and they will have the serve again the serve is then up and we can put our circle and the ball is over the net and they play out this point and there is we'll see what happens Play goes back over to green in the set and from the outside there is a yep the, from the outside they were able to get it so this reverses to green so we are now at 11 11 so it's coming back to green it is now 11 11 and number 14 is now going to serve so the ball is up and it is played out and we'll see who gets the points so green plays and they're able to that probably would have been out but they're able to get the point so i'm actually gonna fast forward a couple points so green actually ends up receiving the 12th point the 13th point the 14th point and then i'll fast forward to the 15th point for you to see that okay so this is the 15th point about to happen so the ball is up and green gets the point so it's 15 point and there is now a timeout on the floor so a timeout was called by the red team this is a good way for you to go over your score sheet make sure everything looks good a key now down here you're going to put the team that called the timeout their score which they have 11. Um, i have to update this just because i fast forwarded through and the green team has 15 so this is where you're going to put out each team receives two timeouts per a set but this sometimes the ref will come over during the timeout and check your score sheet to make sure it looks all good and this is even a good time to check with you like your scoreboard to make sure you match the scoreboard you want to constantly be doing that along with the little arrow to subs and stuff like that the little arrow tracker will help you with that so red team has called the timeout and you have that on there and now we're going to play another point so i'll fast forward till the timeout's over um they're decently short timeouts but sometimes they can feel like 
an eternity so they're coming back out green will come out and 14 is still serving so she'll have the ball go up and with the serve and we'll see if they're able to win the point and they do win another point so this is actually where i'm going to pause the game is right here at 16 to 11. Most of the major events in the game have happened. So the score now is 16 to 11. The score, will, the game will continue. There'll be more subs. There'll be more timeouts and all of that. But I just want to show you a few pointers. So another key thing. So the world will say the game's over. This is how it would end if they served the point. You would just say 16 if we were playing to 16. And now down here in the bottom, you would put the winning team as green and the losing team as red and the points would be 16 to 11 and that's how the game would be over a few things that didn't happen in this game that could possibly happen in your game that you would want to know how to mark is if a libero comes in onto the court the only time you have to worry about that as the regular scorekeeper is if they go to serve so if a libero was to come in and serve for 29 next time around you would have to put a triangle over the number just so you know she served in that service position because she can only serve in one of the six service positions so she served in service position three she could serve for anybody that's in service position three but she can't then go serve for number 11 down here in service position six so that's a key that you have to do to make sure you mark that but a Lavera sub you don't have to worry about you literally just keep the number on the tracker so if she comes in for 29 you still want this to say 29 you don't want to cross it off and say l or any of that it doesn't count for one of your substitutions you can use the libero as much as you want that's why you have a libero tracker because she is able to tell you when she's on the court when she's not that person is marking everything down and that sheet will tell you if the libero is on the court if they're not on the court who they subbed in for and they'll also mark who they served for and then the other key that you want to mark which doesn't happen in this game but if a coach was to get a uh, warning or a yellow card or something along that lines so we're gonna put the green team coach got a yellow card so we're gonna put down here you for the warning you just want to cross out that they got a yellow card because so you have yellow card red card or if there's a wrong server generally if there's a wrong server it just go the point goes to the other team you just can write that it didn't happen you put like a little x through it if there's an issue but you put yellow cards so and you leave these two blank we're doing team b because green's getting the yellow card um, sorry coach and then the score we'll say it happened right now at the we'll say it happened during the time out so it happened when the score was 15 to 11 he clearly did something wrong during the time out and then the set is number one so that's how you would mark a yellow card or red card and the ref will come over and help you with that if you're unsure how to mark that they all know how to do that so we're gonna also I put in up here that the set did start on time at 6 p.m. and the set took we'll say a total of 25, 24 minutes. So we'll say it's 624, you would know this more precisely. And so that's, you fill that all out, make sure it looks all good. And now I'm gonna show you the bottom corner down here so you can see some of the other pointers that the sheet itself gives you. So down here in the bottom corner, it does tell you some different points. Another key to know is if a libero serves, it does become a triangle over the center circle too. And it is a triangle in here so that you just have it separated from whether the person served or the libero served. So non-libero served circle, libero served triangle, point earned serve, you have these, the three in the circle or the triangle rotate so you have the r in the circle or triangle point earned on rotation like you said you put the just the single point you don't have the circle or anything around it a no sir that means there was some issue you put a square mind change you can just cross it off or put other notes in there or a correction you can cross it off that way you don't want to like scribble it out so you can still see it you just want to put like some lines through it also down here it would say like reserve if there was an issue or a replay or anything you can just put rs so if you had put like this triangle and somebody they couldn't figure out who won the point there was some disagreements and they just put a reserve you can just put rs in here and then move on and draw another triangle and then right here it also does tell you the substitutions so you have s243 is substitution two for three for the serving team sx seven for eight substitution seven for eight receiving team so that new little notes are there to help you and guide you as you are filling out the score sheet if you have any questions about anything you saw or any clarifications definitely let me know um, you can also message me in my Instagram that's linked in the description down below. It's crazy underscore four underscore sports. Um, very similar to the channel name, just 
with some underscores added into it if you want to see like pictures and stuff that's an easier way to do that but definitely leave any comments you have in the description down below or any questions you have about how to do the scoring and I'd be happy to help you out with that I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do the volleyball score sheet and you use this to help your team with every single game it definitely takes a couple times doing it to get used to it and the many different steps that you have to do over time you're able to do it like the back of your hand I can now just like watch a volleyball game and do it without even really paying that much attention to what I'm doing it's just like you naturally figure out how to do it but if you guys enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this as I do have the other parts of scoring in a volleyball game coming up in future videos mm -hmm.